Good morning. Um, so today we're going to talk about decorating pick guards because I find this white on white on white on white to be kind of boring. Um, and I just think that's easily improved upon. So I'm going to give you some options. First one here, we'll look at a student guitar. Um, you can go to your favorite online retail establishment and order uh, replacement strap pick guards. The student just wanted to go with black. She kept her switch tip, her original knob, uh, knobs, original pickup covers, and just bought that for, I think it was under 20 bucks shipped. And they range from $10. I don't know if you want to buy a $10 pick guard. I'd probably spend closer to 20 and you'll get a quality item. There is one thing um, that you may need to modify if, if you choose to do a replacement pick guard. And I'll talk about that when we partially disassemble this one. Some other options here on the table. We have, uh, this is, uh, it's a film. This is, pr the process is called hydro dipping. It's a film that floats on water and then you use an activator that kind of dissolves the film and it turns into an ink basically and you dip it. And you can kind of see it's red. This was just a boring white pig guard. And I thought this was going to be a real winner, but it proved to be really tough to get the carbon fiber weave to stay straight. Um, so tricky. And if you're just going to do one, this is, I think, in my opinion, way too expensive. Just to get a starter kit, you're talking about a hundred bucks. So if it's like me, you're interested in just learning and trying new things, this is a cool way to go. But I recommend uh, maybe a camo pattern where if, if it gets distorted, it doesn't really matter and possibly even enhances the look. So again, this was a plain, boring white pit guard. So that's an interesting thing. Oh, and then you, you seal it with a clear coat, of course. Um, these are two-part automotive clears, um, but you don't, have to, you don't have to be so industrial. Um, so that's another kind of interesting option. But uh, we're going to talk about something that's much, much cheaper. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had a student who was constantly doodling, like doodling all the time. But what I noticed is she had talent, and I really liked her style. So I handed her a blank white pet guard, and I said, do your thing. And that is what she came up with, and I absolutely love that. I think it's... I think it's a masterpiece. I loved it so much I built a guitar around it. So, um, And she just did that with Sharpies. So what I did was I scuff sanded that with 400 grit and a little you know, palm sander or a little random orbit sander. Just scuff sand it because it, it's, uh, we'll see on this one, it's the finish is, it's very shiny and it does not take Sharpie well. So you need to scuff sand, you need to abrade that. And then this, I just, I used some inexpensive um, matte clear finish. I don't remember if it was a matte enamel or a matte acrylic, but it wasn't anything special because I really wanted the art to pop. Um, but I still think it'll be fairly durable, I think, because I, I did put several coats on it. And then this year, during uh, the spring shutdown, I had a lot of my uh, middle school students, uh, I was encouraging them to build uh, stuff out of cardboard, you know, car corrugated cardboard. And I showed them that uh, you can even make a guitar out of corrugated cardboard. So just real quickly, I did use some resin in the back. I poured that so it does have a solid backbone. Um, but I didn't fill it up with resin because I really wanted it to be very obvious that this was cardboard. And then I just used a wood hardener to, to help harden those fibers um, so it doesn't so it's not all fuzzy and soft. But anyway, I did this with Sharpie myself. So I am obviously not as talented as um, my former student, but it was fun to do during these those endless Zoom meetings we all had to endure. Uh, I did take the pickup covers off and took the Sharpie to those as well. And obviously that has a, a very clear theme. Um, so we're gonna talk about uh, how to do that. So. We got our boring economy kit pick guard, and you'll want to pull these knobs off. All you need is a piece of string, a shoelace, dental floss, whatever, just wrap it around. They do make a tool for that that makes it really easy. 
but you probably don't want to order a tool just for pulling knobs. Um, and then the you could potentially leave the pickups, you know, if you just want to decorate around them, but it's easy to take them out. The switch tip needs to come off. That's just grab and pull. Um, doesn't come off too tough. I would recommend when you put this back on, put a drop of super glue in there. Yeah, because otherwise, because now that we've pulled it off, it's going to be a little bit looser and these things tend to fall off uh, relatively easy. So just a drop of super glue, pop that back on. There is a protective film on here that needs to be removed. And sometimes there are two layers, so you really have to make sure you get it all. And fingernails are useful in this, but it's just a mastic that just peels right off. So you want to make sure that is all gone. And that's one of the reasons you definitely want to take the knobs off. Um, and possibly, yeah, pickups, it's not a bad idea. So I'll just take off one for this video. So there are springs that, so you can adjust the height of the pickups. And so those just come right out. And I would stick the screws and the springs just to the pickup, to the magnet. There's a ceramic bar magnet in the back. And you could label these. Um, it's, not, it's not really necessary because the wires, it's pretty obvious by the length of the wire which pickup goes where, but it wouldn't hurt to to label it. So those come right off. Uh, don't lose the, the screws and the springs and then the uh, cover that'll pull straight off too. So if you wanted to take a sharpie that again you'd want to scuff sand it because it's got well actually the top isn't too bad but the sides are very glossy so you'd want to scuff that up. Um, and then now you can just put these on here. So it's up to you if you want to label it. Uh, the switch comes off which is two screws, two Phillips screws there. And then the pots, I do need to talk. There's one thing I really want to show you. I need some tools. So should be, yeah, on these imported 10 millimeter nut on there. And did I already lose a spring? That nut comes off, and there's there's a washer on there as well. So having a little tray, I usually do have a, a parts tray. Now what I want to talk about is um, there's this little tab on the pot that uh, goes into a hole, and that's just in case this nut comes loose. It'll help keep it from rotating. You know when you turn the knob. You, instant, you know, you actually want the shaft to rotate, not the whole pot. So sometimes on these replacement ones, well, oftentimes, that hole is not in the right place. So you um, you will likely need to you know just set the pot in there and, and you just take a sharpie or a pencil and just mark where that tab is. Um, or if you don't think you need it, um, you could just take a pair of needle nose pliers. And that tab will just snap right off. And if you do that, I would recommend um, having a star washer and making sure you get that that nut good and snug. Um, so yeah, so you can just take that completely apart. Make sure you peel off all the mastic. This appears to be a single layer, but sometimes there's two. So watch that. Scuff set in that. 320 would work fine if that's all you got. Um, I, I kind of like the surface finish of 400 grit. And then, you know, put a clear coat on when you're done. Um, really, any clear will do. It depends on what you want to spend. You can spend 20 bucks if you want like a super durable automotive finish. You can get a catalyzed uh, two-part urethane clear that uh, is bomb proof. But, or you can buy, you know, a five dollar can of clear enamel and just put several coats on it. Um, I actually, I really, actually I kind of wish, I do like the matte on the Sharpie. I prefer that to this gloss. I, I, if I could do that over again, I think I'd go with the gloss.
Um, yeah, I think that covers it. So have fun. There's no rules. I just, I, I find this to be rather dull. So um, just some options for you to kind of spice things up. And of course, it obviously depends on your paint job. If you've got a really wild paint job, like, you know, a swirl dip, then probably a solid color pick guard is the way to go. But, um, and that's why I painted this guitar kind of a satin white, just because this pick guard is the focus of attention. And obviously with the cardboard, uh, kind of same deal. So, um, but you know, hydro dipping is kind of fun. Uh, I enjoyed figuring out how to do it. I haven't done it since. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it was fun to learn, fun to figure it out. So above all, have fun, be well, see you next time.